Kansai Ben, the dialect spoken mostly in Kansai, the area, and Osaka. Uh, it's the uh, it's not Japanese speaks uh, Tokyo Ben, thanks to uh, or as it's called Hyojungo, the um, standard uh, way of speaking, because uh, Tokyo became the capital and it's been so for a long time, etc., etc. Kansai Ben is pretty fun though, because there's a lot of uh, Almost all like Japanese comedians are from Osaka. They speak Kansai Ben, and I, in my life, I've heard Kansai Ben from Game Center C CX and then uh, Yakuza. And but then I've always uh, only knew I've always known kind of just the basics of um, of Kansai Ben. But I'm starting to learn a little bit more. And I took my um, recently I took my uh, I did a transcript of my favorite one of my favorite scenes from the Yakuza series in Yakuza 2 where Kiryu meets Goda. And I took the transcription to a teacher and asked them to look it over for me because there's a bunch of Kansai related stuff, Kansai Ben related stuff that I just didn't get. So now I have some more information and uh, let's go through the scene and analyze the Kansai Ben and a little bit of the regular just plain Japanese stuff but yeah so Cabaret Grand お客さんこっちの人やないね。うん。旅行でこっちへ来たん?お客さんこっちの人やないね。あ、旅行でこっちへ来たん?いや。そう、いや、お客さん、あ、やないね、she like, oh, it is, like, dice des, they would say ya yeah, instead, and then, like, yeah, janai, yeah, kochi no hito janai ne, would have been in Tokyo, but here's yanai, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, so far so simple, and then kochi ektan, that's, uh, not really kansai ben, I probably wouldn't say, it's casual, because it's like, uh, kita no, kochi ektano, but just kitan instead. It seems like it probably is a little bit more Kansai, but I don't know if it's it's not purely Kansai, but let's continue. Yeah. Here is just one point because this is not Kansai Ben, but the uh, Sonna Tokoro da. Like she asks him um, if he, do you come here for work? Uh, like, well, I guess kind of something like that pretty much. It's like sonna tokoro da. Tokoro da. Tokoro is like place, but it's also like area or vicinity or whatever. So it's kind of like he's not saying yes exactly, but he's kind of saying, saying like yeah, yeah some, something like that. Now the yakuza people start talking. Kazuga skunai yanaike. Yanaike is pretty much like janaika in regular. So that's pretty much him saying, uh, like the English text says, like, hey, isn't the uh, amount of girls very small? And then, Shihai ni wa doko ni oru nya. Oru is uh, keigo in regular Japanese, where it's a uh, uh, humble speak anyway. Watashi wa tabete orimas, sort of. Well, I probably wouldn't say it like that, but they say just te oru and oru for iru. That's just iru for them. So that's not polite at all, as you can tell from them being yakuza and everything. It's just dokuni oru nya. It's like uh, dokuni iru no desu ka would be like the polite version, but dokuni oru nya. Yeah, very kansai. So, me awasetara akan. Akan is Kansai Ben for dame, which of course means like, no, you shouldn't do it, like, bad. Me o awaseru. Here she just says, me awaseru. Me awasetara, whatever. Me o awaseru is like, awaseru is like join or meet or combine or, you know, kind of like, whatever. Jubi awaseru. 
now they're one, you know, today together, whatever. So Maya was serious, like meet someone's gaze. So and Tara is like if when. So it's like if you if you meet uh, or you could say like uh, meeting their gaze is bad. Like basically, it's just say don't look at them. But which is you know what the English says, and that's correct. It's just Maya was a Like you could say that for other things or dame, of course. Just like uh, take the Tara form of, of whatever it is, and then just put dame or akan afterwards. That would work, I think. Uh, and the yate, I'm not sure what that is. I actually forgot to ask about that. Uh, it's probably something like uh, yakusa ya. Is you know ya they add to stores and stuff. Here is like kind of a profession, so. And I don't know why she said sun exactly, but and then nan is just a nan des, so nanda te. Maybe it's te as in te. She wants to emphasize what she just said or something like. She said yakuza, you know, te. But she's, you know, the the little two is not there. Anyway. <laughs> Kansai de washira no table, konai ni sabishi surumise hoka ni nai de. The first part I would say here is first they say washira, which is just uh, washi is like short for watashi. So that's just, uh, that's not really kansai, man. that's just regular, casual. Um, yeah. And then, table ni konai, table konai ni sabishi surumise. Konai ni is uh, I thought it would be maybe konai as in come, don't come, like they're not coming to our table, but it's konai ni is kansai for konnani, and sabishi is like lonely, so like this uh, lonely, t uh, this kind of lonely, lonely, um, how do you say that? I forget how you say that in English, but this, this kind of lonely table, another, uh, there aren't any other, well, as the English says, there aren't, wouldn't be any other restaurant that would have us this. Be this lonely. Atama sageru hima an no yatara. That's just hima uh, atama head sageru like uh, lower. Hima an no yatara. Hima aru no datara is what that is. So if if there's hima. Uh, like free time. If there's free time to load your head, iro poi nechan. I think it's nechan. Iro poi is sexy, by the way. Iro is color, and poi is like 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 color like. I don't know how that works exactly, but yeah, um, colorful. I guess you know. Sex. That sex means sexy anyway. Nechan, of course, women. And that was. Well, actually, how did you say that? A gyo gyosan, which just means taksan. There's, I don't know if there's any difference. And then hippate konkai. Uh, hippate is like, I got pull. So pretty much like give give us, like, you know. Konkai is the thing I was um, like, what is, what is this with in Kansai Ben? Well, it is, let me see here. Oh, uh, well, yeah. yeah. Well, that was it. Konkai, it, kai is just a uh, stronger version of ka. And that's not Kansai Ben, it's just uh, something that like, Rough people say when they want when they want a question really badly or something like kai, um, and then kon is just uh, the um, the n version or whatever the, of kuru, and it's it's like a really it's like a s strong version of saying uh, like bring him over here now kind of like kon kai are you gonna are you gonna get him over here or what like very forceful obviously because they are rough criminals. And uh, the entrance of Godaru, Godaru, and his beautiful voice, Ikagenise, uh, which is uh, in Tokyo, that would have been Ikagenishiro. Um, so, I becomes E in uh, Kansai Ben, for, first of all. That's uh, one a simple one. Kagen ni se, se is shiro, so they have like suru, it's se is from suru, it's the Im imperative, the order form of suru, but I guess it's kind of like suru, shinasai, shiro, se, I think, because I think 
Tokyo people, uh, can, uh, other dialects can you say also. But I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, Ikagen uh, Ishiro, I looked up, it kind of means like knock it off. Anyway. Sasuga is not um, Kansaben, that's, but it means like, oh yeah, da, that's that's you. It's sort of it's very hard to translate, but it's like, he would say like, uh, it's something expected or something like if um, in the World Cup, Neymar uh, scores up. I mean, if he throws a dive, that would be ah, Sasuga ya na, Neymar. That, that would be what I would say anyway. Um, and then ya wa, of course, ya instead of da. That's very simple. And the wa thing is, in this case, is just the thing that women say, like, oh, Sasuga da wa would have been the Tokyo version. But there's another wa coming up later. And then kanroko aru na is like, uh, the English is like, oh, you're like a king or something. But, and I guess that's some. I forget, I don't have the edition, dictionary in front of me right now, but it means something like graciousness or something, so... Yeah. Very bad for him to say something like that. Anyway, uh, Atari Mayagana. I have no idea why he says ga and then na afterwards and not just atarimaya or atarimaya na. No idea, but that's not here nor there. And then, uh, omae san no shigoto shitete. Shitete is shiteite, that doesn't have anything to do with kansai ben. Oyabun no koto shiran no kai. Shiran no kai is just shiranai no desu ka. Like shir, shiran no ka. Shiran no kai. Well, actually, shir, shiran, shiran. Yeah, yeah, that's not really kansai ben. It's just. Shiranai, Shiran, just making it shorter. Mirai no Omirengo no Don, Kansai no Ryuya, Kansai no Ruda. Very simple. And then Oboe Tokia, Oboe Toki, Oboe Toke is like the same thing. And it's re really, uh, if you break it down or bring it back to uh, regular, it's Oboe Te Oko, Oboe Te Oke, Oboe Toko, Oboe Toke, Oboe Toki. Yeah. Um, none of the 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 ya yeah, is not really necessary there because you wouldn't put um, a da after teoku or whatever. But you know, he can do what he what he wants. So let's watch the reaction. どうなりしました? Chawa. That's later, anyway. Donai shimashita is just doshitan, doshitan da, doshitan desu ka? Which is like, you know, what's, what's, what's the matter? They just say donai instead of doshita, pretty much. And then, ah, koitsu no se deka. Deka is just, you know, uh, shortening desu ka. It's not, uh, not kansai ben, really. Koitsu no se, like, is it her fault? And yeah, the English says that anyway. Yes. Chawa. Omae ima nani yuda? Yes, Chawa. Chau is uh, Chigau, which is just, you know, like, Koitsu no Sedeka, Chigau. Like, no, that's that's wrong. Uh, and then he says Wa. That Wa is not the uh, female Wa, so to speak. That is Kansai for Yo. Uh, as far as I understand it, it's like uh, in Kansai you can be a, still be a man <laughs> and say wa uh, as uh, a yes, uh, strengthener particle. And then, omae um, ima nani yuta? Yuta is uh, Kansai for itta. Nani itta? Nani itanska? Or something, it would be in Tokyo. But yeah, nani itta? What did you say? But they say yuta. And then he's like, huh? And then, oboe to ran no kai. And that's kind of like uh, sh uh, shiran, shiran no kai, like the same thing. Oboe, oboe toran is not, it's because it's oboeru, oboe nai, but it's not oboe toru or whatever, that's not a word. So it's oboe te oku, that's uh, again. Oboe te oite iru, I think it is, that becomes oboe toru, oboe toran. Uh, there's a little 
complicated when you if you go from nothing and start to think up a word up a word and how you're gonna conjugate it that's a little harder than just understanding this but um seki has has hazuru is it i think it is like uh to uh leave not leave exactly but like separate from like if i leave my seat i'm you know Hazuru, whatever. So yeah, you say it's again the order order thing, and then you just kind of add ya yeah, even though you kind of sh shouldn't. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah. Oya-san no mai de yutara akan koto ga aru yaro. Very, pretty simple. Um, think what we've done before. Yutara is just itara. And then akan, yutara akan, like bad if you say. And then koto, you know, a thing that's bad if you say. Ga aru, there's a thing that's bad if you say. And then yaro is their version of daro. And that goes, um, th the funny thing about that is it goes back to uh, when I did my uh, world's worst manga, I did a joke about that when someone says, like, oh, yaro. And they're like, what? You're calling me an asshole? Because yaro was also uh, like, kono yaro, you know. But that's different. But, yeah. Uh, I'm, I've always wondered, like, if Japanese people ever make that mistake in real life. Does that happen? Probably not, because they're smarter than I give them credit for, I guess. E kara hayo ayamarankai. Ayamarankai is, you know, the same uh, as shirano kai before, so... Ayamaru, ayamaranai, ayamaran kai. So go, go, go ahead and do it. Hayo is like the um, Kansai casual shortening, ruder form of hayai, obviously. So it's like do it, do it quickly or soon, as the, the kanji is the other hayai. Anyway. Hora, which is pretty much um, that. That's not the concept. Man. Hora is just oh, look. So it's kind of hey, look at you. Um, I thought that was be, was something like super kansai, but it's actually not. It's mitomonai uh, de is kansai because that's like it can be. I think it can be like yo, zo, or ze. Uh, it's like a strengthening thing. Mitomonaide means like uh, pathetic, uh, like like the text says. Like uh, and mitomonai des, mitomonai da. It could be you know. It's... Hayo again, seki swarankai. Same thing as before. Awkward silence or terrified silence from Yamada's perspective. Yamada, where are you? 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 Where and I didn't know that actually. I thought because I knew I thought it was part of because I've heard it when you know, they're like Ware! like they're angry. So I thought it was like in let's see here in uh, regular uh, speak if you can add like kora after something when you're really angry. So like kora. Uh, it doesn't mean anything. It's just to signify your anger or something. In Kansai they say buge instead. So I thought ware was kind of like buge. Sometimes I've heard ware at the end also, but it means like omai. I didn't know that. There you go. Uh, yes. And then uh, washi to, washi again, watashi, sakasuki ko kawashite kara nambo ya. Nambo, apparently, well, the, the, actually I knew it already because the text, the English translation, pretty much tells you that that's what it means. And then he's because he says anamboya and then ni ni nan desu. So basically, you know how how long have you been with me? Two years. So nambo apparently is like nannen, but or ikutsu. I mean, it seems easy enough to use that, but instead they have nambo. So that's fine. And then you know he's all 
Well, he's very confused right now. That's what I love about this scene. It's very uh, he, he doesn't know what he did wrong, but he knows that he did something wrong, and shit's gonna go down. De, saki yuta koto omoidash tankai. De is not kansai. That's just regular. When when you have uh, someone puts forth something and then you're like, and, then you use de. Um, saki yuta koto yuta is just it again. Uh, omoidash tankai, omoidash ta no ka. You know, same thing there. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Ma no mea. So, well, whatever. Just drink. And then he drinks. Koi? So, yeah, that's a uh, gore. It's not that they have to use boge, but they can use kora also. Yeah. Kore de omoidashitairo. With this, you uh, remember, right? Yaro is again like daro, so. Hayo, yute, yute mi ya kora. Uh, ya, whatever. They, they, let's just say that in Kansai they put ya after a lot of things. But yute mi is uh, itte mi ro. It's the or, very strong order form of. Uh, uh, itte mi ru is just pretty much like try saying it. But itte mi ro is like kind of like. Because there's no. You have the raw forms of other things like suru, shiro, taberu, taberu, but with you, you can't really say yo. I think I don't think Japanese people do that really. So when they say like say, they use like itemiro instead. Yeah. So now a certain fellow in a green jacket and a reddish shirt is about to enter the scene. Let's watch. <laughs> 